Hey guys, Jay here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use OBS and FFmpeg to live stream to multiple platforms or channels at once. The way this works is OBS streams to your primary channel and also saves a local recording. Then FFmpeg sends the local recording to a different RTMP server. You can even use the FFmpeg to stream to a third or fourth channel as well. Just make sure that your upload speed is high enough to support all of the streams. There are a few other ways to stream to multiple channels or services, but this is what me and Nephew Tech use for our weekly live stream because it's free. And I want to keep this video short and to the point, so I'll talk about the other ways to stream to multiple platforms in a separate video. First, you'll need to install both OBS and FFmpeg. OBS is a popular free, open source screen capture, live streaming, and recording software. FFmpeg is a command line video encoder, which can also be used to stream to an RTMP server. Go ahead and install OBS. There are already tons of videos out there, so if you need help with this, um, you can leave a comment or check out another video. I'll post a link, but feel free to ask questions down in the comment section if you need help. Now let's download and set up FFmpeg. Go to ffmpeg.org and select Windows. We want to download the static version, and I'm using the 64-bit operating system, so I'll select that and then go ahead and click Download. Once the download is complete, go ahead and extract the files. I'm going to extract mine to the Program Files folder, and then go down to the location of the .exe file, and copy the address in the address bar. Once you've copied the path to this folder, you can add it to your environment variables by searching for Environment Variables, clicking Path, New, and then pasting in the path, and then hitting OK to exit out of all these windows. Now if you open up a new command prompt, you see that FFmpeg is available. Now you need to configure OBS. Boot up OBS and set up your scenes however you need. I won't go into that in this video. Then go into Settings, and under Streaming, um, make sure you select your streaming platform and paste in your streaming key. Then under the Recordings sec settings, make sure that you set OBS to save the file as a .flv file, and save the file with no spaces, because spaces in the file name break everything and should not be allowed in a file name. I don't know why Windows or any other operating system allows this. Um, and then note the location where OBS saves the recording. Now everything is configured. To start streaming to your main channel, just hit the Start Streaming button. This will start the stream to your primary channel, and this is how OBS is normally used. We'll go a little bit deeper when we stream to the second channel. Now set up the stream to the second channel. Hit the Start Recording button, and this will begin saving the local recording. Then open up the command prompt and type the following command. FFmpeg, which is the name of the command, space hyphen RE, this says to read the file at the default or the preset um, frames per second, and then space hyphen I, and then put the path to the file that you want to stream. So this will be the FLV file that OBS is currently recording. And then space hyphen A Kodak copy. This copies data from the file instead of re-encoding it, which is easier on your CPU. And then do the same with V Kodak copy hyphen F, FLV, and then type out the URL for the RTMP server and paste in your streaming key. I'll obviously blur mine, but paste in yours. It'll be uh, four sets of four characters separated by hyphens. Then hit enter and the secondary stream will begin. Keep in mind that this will use up extra bandwidth, so make sure that your internet can support the second stream. If you want to stream a third time, you can just open up a new command prompt and put in a different RTMP server. To stop the stream, you can close the command prompt or click stop recording in OBS. Alternatively, if you don't want to have to type out the command each time, you can download the GUI I made for my website by going to jmartmedia.com slash multistream, which will take you to this page, and then you can click the download button. Go ahead and install it, and to use the GUI, you need to change these presets to the folder where OBS saves recordings, just like we did for the command, and then choose your streaming service. I've got some Twitch ingest servers and YouTube, or you can do a custom. So select one and then paste in your streaming key, and then simply hit the stream button to start streaming. Make sure you've already started the recording, and keep in mind, um, yeah, keep in mind that you must start recording in OBS before you hit the stream button in the GUI. That way you're streaming the current recording file. If you don't feel comfortable installing my GUI program, you can use the batch file I created instead. Create a new text document and make sure you save it as a .bat file and paste in the code from the bottom of the page at jmartmedia.com slash multistream. Make sure the file is saved as a bat and change the folder underscore path variable equal to the path in which OBS saves recordings 
and make sure there isn't a space on either side of the equal sign and that the path ends in a backslash. Then you can change the RTMP URL. You can use a Twitch URL or have it set to YouTube by default. Again, make sure there's no space on either side of the equal sign and that the URL ends in a slash. And then finally, set the stream key equal to your streaming key, whether it's Twitch or YouTube or another service. Basically, all this batch file does is it finds the most recent FLV file in the folder that OBS saves the file in, and then the script calls the ffmpeg command and passes in this FLV file. To run the script, just double click it. And again, to stop the stream, you can either stop the recording in OBS or exit out of the command window. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like so that more people will see it. And if you'd like to see more videos like it in the future, go ahead and subscribe. As always, have a great day. I'm out.